Today, I'm gonna teach you the fastest way to learn the circle of fifths and all 12 major keys on the guitar. And the reason I like to use the guitar is we're not going to have to memorize everything right now. If we forget anything in this method, we can easily use the guitar itself to derive the sharps and flats for each of these major keys. Now, why is it important to know the circle of fifths and all 12 major keys? Well, not knowing this is the single biggest thing holding back beginner and intermediate guitarists. You really can't progress to more advanced abilities without knowing this first. So we're gonna fix that today, right now. So what is the circle of fists? Now, in most examples, and maybe some other videos you've seen prior to this one, the circle of fists is a complicated diagram. I'll put up some examples right here. And what it shows is how the 12 major keys are related to each other in an interval of a fifth. A fifth is just a distance that we use to measure musical notes. So it's as simple as saying, if we start on the note C, we go up five C, D, E, F, G. So if you can count on your hand to five, you can figure out what a fifth is. So all 12 major keys have a certain pattern moving in fifths. The problem with a lot of these other videos and methods is that they go into a lot of detail that is accurate, but it's also overwhelming and way more info than you need just to learn the 12 major keys and how many sharps and flats they have. So the key of C is our first key we talk about, and it has zero sharps or flats. So all just notes from the alphabet, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then C again. And then our other keys of the major scales, the other 11 keys, have different numbers of sharps or flats which alter the notes, the letters that I just listed. There are six sharp keys and six flat keys that we're going to go through. So let's do the sharp keys first. The way we can do it on guitar, after the key of C, if we count five up, C, D, E, F, G, we get to the key of G. And I want you to find the note G on this first part of the guitar, it's right here. Since this is on the first string, the key of G has one sharp. And what's cool about the sharps is it's so easy to find every new sharp. The new sharp for the key of G is just the letter before it, sharp. So instead of, we're in the key of G, our new sharp is F sharp. So because we're on the first string, that's one sharp. Then when we go to the next string, the second string, up a fifth, G, A, B, C, D, we're going to have two sharps, second string, two sharps. Again, the new sharp now is going to be the note before it, C sharp, which is there, just a fret before it. And we keep all of the sharps that we've built up, right? So we're gonna accumulate sharps. So key of D has F sharp from the beginning and C sharp. Fifth up from D, D, E, F, G, A. That's right here. Our new sharp is the note before, G sharp. And we can do that for all of these. Key of E. After A, A, B, C, D, E. E is on the fourth string, so four sharps. And our new sharp is D sharp. So just counting them back from the beginning, we would have F sharp for key of G. We add C sharp for key of D. We add G sharp for the key of A and then D sharp for key of E. So key of E has all four of those sharps. Let's keep going. So after E, we're gonna go to B. And now B, we're going to add A sharp. Note before. After B, that's five sharps. Let's get to our last one, six sharps. F sharp. And now F sharp, the note before F sharp is E. E sharp is the same as the note F. So the new sharp for the key of F sharp is E sharp technically, but we can also just think about it as F. So that covers us for all sharps. If you have a sharp key, it's as easy as finding the note of the key you want to figure out. So G, D, A, E, B, or F sharp, and then seeing which string that's on, and that tells you how many sharps. And then you can figure out those sharps using the method I just described. Now let's take a look at the flat side. This is a little bit different than what we just did on the sharps. We are just going to go in reverse, the slightly different way of figuring out what the new flat is. 
So we start with F, this low F. And so this is going to, I want you to think about this as our first string that we're dealing with on the flat side. It's just reverse of the sharps. So F is going to have one flat. And the way we figure out that flat is by going to our next key. So after F, underneath that is B flat. So that's our new flat for the key of F. So F has one flat and it's the note right underneath that string, B flat. Now we're on B flat. And so this is two strings on the flat side. So it's gonna have two flats for the key of B flat. It keeps the B flat and it adds in the note below that, E flat. Now we're on E flat. That's gonna be three flats because we're on three strings from the bottom. And we add in the flat that's underneath that, which is A flat. Now we're on four strings from the bottom. So A flat has four flats. And we're going to add in the flat that's underneath that, which is D flat. D flat is five strings from the bottom. And so we add in the one under that, which is G flat. And then we don't have a string here. So for six flats, because we're on G flat, is, is six flats for G flat and six sharps for F sharp. The new flat for G flat, if we had something here, would be C flat. So the way you can remember that is the one that we kind of assume at the beginning is key of C, has no sharps or no flats. So we also use it at the end here for the last flat, C flat for the key of G flat. Okay, so that's just running through the method real quick. The way we would actually want to remember these and learn them is when you encounter a new key, you want to think, okay, is this a sharp key or a flat key? So let's say key of A, and you see, okay, key of A is a sharp key. We use our sharp method. We find that A here, so G, D, A. A is on the third string, so it's going to have three sharps. And then we can count them from the beginning, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp in that order. And that's also the order of the sharps. If we had a flat key, let's take A flat. A flat is here and it's on the flat side. So we're going to go from low to high. One, two, three, four, four strings we went down. So that's going to have four flats. And the way we figure those out is starting on the B flat. We have B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. So if you want to review that, you can save this video. Um, I also put together a cheat sheet for figuring out this method for just kind of remembering what it is and going through, um, especially if you don't know what these notes on the guitar are yet. And you can get that within Chase's Guitar Academy. There's a 14 day free trial in the link in the description. It's also where you get all of the PDFs for my YouTube videos. Um, so if you're interested, you can check that out below. So this is just a really quick method to learn how many sharps and flats are in these keys and when you know what those keys are, what are those sharps and flats? The way you'll actually start to internalize each of these keys is by practicing through them and going a lot further than what we just did. But I see a lot of musicians that are struggling. If I ask them, hey, what is, what's the sharps in the key of B? They really wouldn't know or wouldn't have a way of figuring that out. Now, if you have your guitar or you can visualize your guitar, you can figure out what are those sharps what are those notes for those sharps? How many sharps does the key of B have? Until you've actually fully internalized and memorized it. So hopefully that helps you. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You can hit like. The next video I think you guys should really check out after you've learned your keys is check out my video going through some of the arpeggios for all 12 keys. It's another good way to really internalize all 12 keys and I'll link that right here. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in another video.